Hi everyone, it's Amanda from I Sung A Lot and a new video um, all about my August makes. Um, I've had a couple of people requesting, uh, asking me where it was, so here it is. Uh, it's a little bit later this month because I've actually been away quite a bit, um, which actually um, has also affected my makes. Um, apart from the fact that I've obviously supposedly been taking part in the uh, so man pants hashtag I've actually unfortunately been a little bit distracted this month so whilst I have made progress with my so man pants hashtag um, I have also sent some other things as well so just to keep you updated with the so man pants uh, progress um, first of all I have sewn the uh, Nico Raglan by Jelly Patterns and I'll put a picture of the pattern here um, the fit of this was pretty good although I did have to take it in uh, probably about an inch on both sides and the underarms. I used some lovely viscose jersey that I got from uh, Minerva Crafts. Um, I'll put a picture of my husband wearing it in here so that you can see what the fit and everything is like. He very kindly posed. And then I also made him a um, men's metro tee which is a uh, Liesl & Co pattern who are um, also the same company that designed the Oliver and S patterns and this again is also from the viscose jersey that I got from Minerva Crafts um, and I will insert a picture here of him wearing it um, but this one I think is my favourite the fit for him is really really good um, the neckband turned out really really well whereas on the Nico one I've, I've, as you can see I've got a little bit of unevenness at the back there um, but this one is perfect and it fits him on the shoulders and the body. The only thing I did do, I think I added um, an inch, maybe two inches to the length. So yeah, that's what I did. I was also planning to make some jeans and I have made progress with my jeans, um, but they're not finished. I got totally distracted along the way this month. So here they are. Um, they are almost finished. As you can see, I've got my zip fly in, which turned out really well. And the first zip fly that I have uh, sewn, um, they've got pockets. These are the Jedediah pants by um, Thread Theory Designs. Um, they've got pockets on the back and some really nice uh, top stitching, which turned out really well. Um, and when I was making these, I was also trying to get to grips with my new sewing machine. So, yeah. Uh, pockets and he's tried them on and miracle of miracles they actually fit so all I have to do is waistband um, belt loops and hem that's all I have to do um, they did take me quite a while um, mainly I think because uh, there is a lot of flat filled seams and after I did the flat filled seam across uh, the yoke portion I decided that I wasn't going to carry on and continue in that vein. So um, the side, um, it's the inner seams that have flat filled seams, and I've just done fake flat filled seams. So I have overlocked and pressed it to one side, as you can see, and then I've just stitched it down. So from the outside, it looks like a flat filled seam, but it isn't actually. So I'm hoping to get those finished this month. I didn't get around to making the Negroni shirt. Um, it's still on my list. I still have the pattern and I have the fabric and I really would like to make that. So yeah, uh, hopefully I'll get around to that. So um, what else? Um, my backpack, I was supposed to be making my Desmond backpack and I have made a bit of progress with that but again I am still not finished with it because like I say I've been distracted. So obviously if you watched uh, my last video then you'll know all about the Cozy Cardi Challenge uh, which is run by myself and the Stitch Sisters Nikki and Rachel and so all month all I've wanted to do really is sew cardigans and uh, that's what's been distracting me and also it's taken up quite a lot of time. I've been working, I've been away so yes that's that's my story. Um, so what else do I make? This isn't technically an August make because I only made it Thursday but this is the Jenna cardigan by Muse Patterns and as you can see it's a cropped cardigan uh, with three quarter length sleeve and I've actually added snaps 
and I completely and utterly copied this cardigan from the uh, lovely Sarah of a Million Dresses um, except I think she's made the v-neck version which comes as part of an expansion pack but I made the round neck because I prefer that on me um, I've added snaps and since I posted on Instagram quite a few people have asked me about these and these are actually cam snaps that's K-A-M and uh, you actually do need a special uh, pli pair of pliers to go to get these to work I tried to do them with my um, Vario prim pliers and it didn't work they just kept coming off so I would say you do need the pliers to go with them to make them work effectively although they are really really cheap I think the pliers are about eight pounds or something like that um, but these snaps are really good they're plastic but they come in so many different colors they are um, yeah really good and I think you could get them to match pretty much any color cardigan you want to make so the fabric I use for this is one of the um, solid cotton spandex uh, jerseys from Girl Charlie and they are one of our lovely sponsors uh, for the Cozy Cardi Challenge. So I've made this one and I have to admit the pattern is amazing. The only change I would make is that because I've used a cotton um, jersey it does stretch out slightly and it doesn't have a massive amount of recovery. So I would take that in and I've actually cut out a navy version and on my navy version I have taken this in probably by about half an inch so that should fix that problem uh, but yeah I really like it the fit is really good shoulders is really good and it's just the right length for me I really like it so uh, it's a perfect pairing with a lot of things in my wardrobe and one of them is my B6178 culottes I said I was going to make these and I did these are one of my first makes you can see, I'm not sure you can see the length. We've got an invisible zip in the side, and these turned out really, really well. I'm really pleased with them, and I've worn them quite a lot. They're really comfy. <laughs> and uh, the crepe that I used, I think it's a double crepe. And come on, she's trying to get my elastic bands. Um, it's a double crepe and it was from, I think it's got a slight stretch as well, it was from So Essential and it is I think a John Caldor one, it might be Dynasty Crepe I think it's called, I'll put the link to it down below, it's really really good quality, perfect for trousers and skirts because it's got a really good weight to it, um, obviously it's polyester so um, it doesn't crease at all, I haven't ironed these at all in preparation for the video so yeah they're brilliant and I'm thinking of um, extending the legs and making a pair of um, wide leg trousers for the winter as the weather's turning a bit so um, on to the next thing um, I think I've got three more things to show you and I've got to get changed so I'll be back in a minute okay so um, I also made um, if you've been um, checking out my previous videos um, the laneway dress by uh, Jennifer Lauren and I was lucky enough to be picked to review the pattern I'll try and insert the link down below to my previous video or I'm going to try and figure out if I can do um, the card thing that gives you the link up there so that you can um, check back um, and I made a denim version so it's a little bit crumpled I made the denim version and I'm really really happy with it the fit is really really good save for um, I did notice from the video um, and I had a couple of comments which sort of verified my original concerns that um, the shoulders were a little bit um, too long for my body and it was creating wrinkles in this area and it was okay when I stood up but obviously when you sit down everything sort of shoves up it was creating um, wrinkles here I'll try and insert a picture because I have got a picture of just the bodice um, here so you can see um, and so I think I haven't adjusted it yet but I think I probably need to take the shoulders down a little bit but this um, denim is absolutely perfect for this dress and I'm really happy with it, I've worn it loads, it's really really comfy and this is such an easy dress but as soon as I finished it I wanted to make another one so um, I had this beautiful 
black stretch cord, needle cord, um, in my stash that I purchased last year. I think it was in the winter um, from Fabric Godmother. It was in their sale and it just goes to show how economical this pattern is because I had 1.2 metres of fabric. I originally bought it to make a Clio um, but the weight, it was too lightweight so I thought all oh, that would be perfect for a dress and I absolutely love it. Um, but after making the denim one, um, Jennifer Lauren saw uh, my video and um, was concerned about the comments. Obviously people had said there was some wrinkling there and and um, so she messaged me to say, given my measurements, that I probably should have gone down a size and then I wouldn't have had to take the back end so much um, because um, the it would be spread all across the bodice, of course. So um, for this one, I actually made the size, I think it's a size six, which is ridiculous, but I made the size six um, and I thought, oh, that would be much better. but. Obviously it was a stretch called Roy, so I did still have to take the back in. But as you can see here, um, I also took the shoulders down by half an inch each side. Um, but as you can see here, the fit around this area is much better. And I'm just going to stand up so you can have a look. And the length. And I love the fit around the waist and the bust. I just think it's lovely. And I am going to wear this so much in the winter. It's going to be perfect with black tights. I'll probably have to wear a slip under it because um, being cotton, it'll probably stick to tights a little bit. But I really love it. I think it's really classic. And I think actually, whenever I watch the videos back, when I wear black, it actually, I, I like black on me. It, it complements my skin tone and everything. So yeah, I really, really like it. And I have actually got a couple more planned. I think a, a chocolate brown one would be lovely for the winter. Um, I've just got loads of ideas for it. So yes, I would thoroughly recommend this pattern. The fit is brilliant um, and it's really comfortable to wear and I love it. So yeah. Okay, so I thought I had three things to show you. That's two and I've still got two more. So I'm gonna get changed, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so uh, the next thing I made, I said in my last video that I was thinking about making a um, Lulu dress um, and Instagram being um, evil uh, showed on my feed that uh, So Alicious were actually having a sale and so I managed to pick up this lovely pineapple print viscose uh, from there. Unfortunately it's sold out now because I loved it so much I went back and I bought the last bit um, but yes I made the Lulu dress and I'm just um, yeah. back so I can show you. I can show you the link and I'm also going to show you without belt so that you can see how loose it is and the link you can't really see the link but uh, yeah, it's perfect for the summer. I think it'd be okay in the um, cooler months as well because it's got black on it, so I could probably wear it with black tights. Um, but yes, I really like it. Obviously, I knew it was going to fit um, because I've made the top, although um, it is quite roomy around the hip area, so um, I could have maybe taken it in a little bit. But I quite liked that it was loose, and when it's with a belt, it doesn't actually show and I quite like that it's quite comfy. So yeah, that is my next week. So I've got one more thing to show you. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so the last thing, um, while I was on the So Alicious website, I found this really, really lovely uh, sweatshirt fabric. If you can see, it's got elephants, giraffes, birds. It's a really, really lovely print. I bought it um, to actually make something for one of my nieces. But when I saw it, uh, I wanted to keep it for myself. So, um, sorry my nieces, but yes, I kept it for myself and I made a raglan sweatshirt. Um, I can't remember the pattern, it's a new look pattern. Um, I'll put a picture of it here, although the um, styling on the uh, pattern uh, packet is rubbish. Um, but it's just really, really similar to a linden, um, but slightly more fitted. So, I'll just show you. It's got a band on the bottom. And I've, uh, I think it comes with um, bands for the sleeves, just the round neck, basic, basic sweater pattern. Um, and because I only had a metre, I had to make short sleeves 
I had to make short sleeves um, instead of making them the full length. Um, so yes, really happy with this, it's going to be really great um, for the colder months. And yes, perfect. So that's all I've got to show you for now. I'll be back soon um, with hopefully um, I would like to do a sew along video for the Jenna Cardi um, because I had great success with it so hopefully I'm going to get that out this week um, and after that some plans although um, my plans might have to wait a little while because I'm actually going to the handmade fair um, on the weekend with my sister so I'm on the lookout for some fabrics there I've got some lovely uh, birthday money to spend so yes so that's it for today, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon, bye!